You think you can beat a chimpanzee? No. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Chimpanzees. <laughs> I don't think I could. You know what? I'll tell you a story. So, 15 years ago in Shanghai, I don't know. You're from Shanghai, right? Yeah. Uh, do you know where Wuzhong Road is? Wuzhong Lu. Wuzhong Lu. Anyway, it's, it's a road in Shanghai in the Shuhei District. I, I used to live on this road. And they used to have monkey handlers there. <laughs> with just little capuchin monkeys, or rhesus monkeys, I think they were. You know, a monkey about that long, that big. And the monkeys would do tricks, and they would take coins, you'd give them peanuts, they'd do backflips, <laughs> things like that. They, they've made that illegal in Shanghai now, but it, it was fun when they had it. <laughs> the reason I'm telling this story, so my wife and I, we run into this monkey handler. And there are two monkeys on the street, a nice monkey and a mean monkey. The mean monkey's missing its tail. I think it got mad because somebody chopped its tail off, and it was very resentful. Anyway, the mean monkey without the tail. My wife gives it a peanut. The monkey grabs the peanut, boom, open hand slaps her, leaves a red mark. She's like, ow, the monkey just slapped me. Like, what the heck? The monkey jumps on my head. <laughs> and it grabs me. It's not, it's not doing anything super aggressive. It's just holding on. You know what it feels like? It feels like it's made out of iron rebar. And it's just this little fuzzy cute thing. And I'm like, this thing could probably tear my face off. <laughs> I feel like the, the power, the tensile muscle strength of this tiny little primate. And suddenly I realize all those stories about primates tearing people's face off, faces off. I saw a documentary of a, of a chimpanzee tearing an antelope's head off with one hand, like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Fatality, man. And they are... So just imagine this little monkey with muscles like iron expanded to like a 180-pound adult male chimp. Oh my goodness. That'll kill you. I, I'm not sure you could get it. You know how, like, an adult chimpanzee, you, not a little cute baby chimpanzee, or they, they got, like, these traps going on. So they're, they're like no neck animals, man. I don't think you could get around that neck. Maybe you could. You might get lucky. But they're constructed differently. Like, chimpanzees don't get concussions like humans do. Did you know that? A lot of animals don't get concussions like humans do. They can fall from a tree land on their head and walk away like it's no problem. They are literally built differently. Okay, their skulls are attached to their spine differently. Their muscles are inserted to their neck differently. So it's going to be really hard to choke one, man. Really hard to break their posture. So I, I, I would bet on the chimp, man. And they're like, faster that makes you wrong. <laughs> yes. Yes. And they can use their feet like hands and their hands like feet. Yeah. So, Mighty Mouse agrees to fighting Bradley Martin. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Is this fight going down? I heard the I rumors. Don't know, but I don't know, but... Okay. But how do you feel like it will play out? Okay. Now, I, I've watched a couple of Bradley Martin's videos, mostly like his, his weightlifting videos, and I don't know how much he knows about grappling. So they're going to grapple or they're going to fight? They're going to play like, like MMA. MMA fight. Oh boy, wow. Oh, this is interesting. This, this is interesting because the size difference and the strength difference, it's not nothing. It's not nothing. I imagine Mighty Mouse has probably sparred with guys that size before. He's probably not a stranger to, to the weight difference or the strength difference of a human being that size. Um, Bradley Martin is definitely a stranger to the level of fighting skill that Mighty Mouse possesses, though. So, I, I don't know how this is going to play out, but I, I would... I would bet on Mighty Mouse to end this via probably a choke, <laughs> probably strangle him, probably pretty early. Also, how much time does Mighty Mouse have to work with? Three what? rounds, five rounds? Even Good more? question. If it was a pro fighter, it would be three, five in the rounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing since it's since it's Bradley Martin's first first MMA fight, he might ask for like shorter rounds or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> But I, I don't think Mighty Mouse is going to need a long time. I think what he's probably going to do is shoot in for um, for a high crotch or a low single, and then he's going to flip around the back. He's going to cut the corner, get around the back of the leg, jump on him and strangle him early. So that that's my guess. It could play out totally different. Fights are unpredictable like that, but that's how I would that's how I would uh, wager I would go down.